What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm gonna need gloves because we will be working with dry ice how to make a dry ice bubble like a huge one let's get to it here's what we're going to need a mixing bowl, water, dish soap and of course dry ice so we're gonna pour water inside of a mixing bowl then we're gonna get a chunk of dry ice and we need to break it off a piece Okay, that's as good. To another one. Alright, I just got a small piece of old t-shirt. Put some soap in there and soap it up. You see how it's producing a lot of smoke over there? Then I'm just gonna go like that. And capture all the smoke under a thin layer of bubble. Check it out. Sick, huh? So what we're gonna do is take the pillow cover and put it in all the way like that and hold it, you know, like that. You, you see, so it's like a filter where the CO2 or carbon dioxide is supposed to come from. We like put a cover over here and we're gonna hold it with our glove right here. And then we're gonna take off the safety because you know how to use fire extinguisher, they all have safety, you gotta pull out the safety. Okay, and we already turn it on and for like only like 10 seconds. Okay, we're gonna open it, it's actually really cold, even in a glove, you know? And let's see what's gonna happen. We can put this away. And let's see what ho what's gonna happen. Look how much dry ice we got for holding there for only like what, 10 seconds. Look, pieces of dry ice. Look how big the pieces of dry ice. I got here warm water. I'm gonna drop it in here, this block. And let's see what happened. And you see it's producing smoke. You see how cool is that? So you make sure that if you do that, you use the hot water. Let's just drop the whole thing. And you know, you can actually do a lot of experiments with dry ice and look how cool is this. But be careful, dry ice is super cold, super, super cold. It will even ruin your table, you know. gonna make some liquid nitrogen. Things we're gonna need. Some 90% alcohol, cut off a plastic bottle like that, and some dry ice. You see gloves is very important. We're gonna get our dry ice and chop up a bunch of little pieces. It's not too hard. And then fill it up in this small cup. Looks like we're gonna need some more. Then we're gonna get our alcohol and pour it into the dry ice. Be careful, adult supervision. Check this out, this one looks cool. Because this is really dangerous. Do not get it on your hands. Because it will stick to you. Check it out how it boils in there. Tell me why the alcohol doesn't freeze like that. Like water would be. Gonna get my knife to mix it up a little bit. Alright, as you can see, normal flour over here, you see? I'm gonna stick it in there. For not too long. You see? Let's try something else. Alright, I stuck my flour up in there. Let's check it out. Now it's like crumbles. 
Ух. Just like small eyes. Wow. It's kind of cold even to the to the gloves. You can get small piece of paper, wrap it, wrap it around and stick it in a bottle and just throw all your stuff in that paper like that. Well, that works. Alright, then I'm gonna put water up in here and close it up. Don't try this at home, kids. Shit. It's like Volcano. Yeah, looks like it didn't want to blow up by itself. Maybe I didn't tie it up deep enough. Let's try this again. That hit my hand pretty hard. But this time I'm going to tie it up tighter. Put some water up on there. Oh shit! Right, that doesn't want to blow, huh? Damn, that looks like it's about to blow. Woo! What are we going to need? Dish soap, warm water with some kind of container, and most important, Dry ice. Let's get to our experiment. So first we're gonna pour some soap inside of the water and then we wanna mix it up so we get the soapy water. And then we're going to grab a piece of dry ice and put it into the soapy water and let's see what happens. We pretty much getting a bubbles. So we pretty much getting the bubble making machine. You can actually now touch it with your hand. That's totally safe. And when you pop bubbles, smoke comes out. So for the kids, this is, will be super fun. So you grab it, look. And if I pop them, smoke comes out. And the smoke actually really, really warm. We'll check it out. So if you have a bunch of kids and you want to do some kind of cool experiments, this is completely safe. Just make sure they do not touch the piece of ice. So you need adult supervision. Boom. How cool is that? This is actually so much fun and stress relieving. I'm actually gonna play this all night because it's so cool. And then you can grab it in your hand and just pop it. And smoke comes out. So isn't it pretty unusual? Very simple experiment. All you need is dry ice, water and soap. And that's what kind of is all you get. Smoky bubbles. First thing we're going to need to do is crush the dry ice. Next what I'm going to do is plug the sink. Plug it up and fill it up with hot water. After it's almost full, we're gonna grab all this dry ice about two pounds and put it inside of the water and let's see what happens how cool is this check this out waterfall of smoke what do you think alex oh my god isn't what it amazing I walked in at the best time. I know. <laughs> this is the dry ice experiment. So as you can see, this smoke is cold. That's why it's going down, not up. 
How fun is this? That was as good. Dude, try to lay down. Let's see if I can see you or not. Lay down on the floor. Like all the way flat. <laughs> wow, you disappeared. Oh my god, you almost cannot see you. Just stay there for a minute. Wow, I cannot see you. I just see the pencil a little. <laughs> can you, could you breathe there? Hold on, my brother. Yeah, no, you can breathe, but you're just breathing like not good stuff. Oh, no, it's it's okay. You, you can do that. <laughs> Look at this, guys. You walk in, it's ninja. You cannot see him almost at all. But yeah, you can get up. It's amazing. You said you don't want to get up? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's too much fun. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this smoke. Waterfall of smoke. I put the whole pound in, so it's going to take a while. But just now. Look how amazing is this. Look at this smoke. Do, do that here for me. Ready? Yeah. Wow, this is <laughs> the most, the coolest experiment I've ever done, I think. Look at my legs. Dude, this would be awesome for like a scary movie, like walking in the mist, you know? I know. So, exactly. But look, look how awesome is this right here. And the water is hot. Just do not touch the dry ice. <laughs> wow, look at that. Watch, watch this. Oh, can you do the hurricane? Like, you do it like this and... Oh. Do it, oh, try to awesome. do it. Try to do the hurricane. Oh, you almost got it, do it again. Wow, wow! wow! Yeah. No way, this that is the best, awesome. do it again. Look, look, look. Okay, come on, shut up, smoke. <laughs> so this experiment demonstrates that there is different density in the air, hot and cold. Hotter air is gonna go up and colder air is gonna go down, as you can see. Amazing. That was two pounds of dry ice and you see it's almost gone. For this experiment we're going to need glass of water, empty plastic cup, saran wrap, knife or scissors, and of course dry ice. So let's check out what we're going to do. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the rubber band. What we're going to do is grab empty cup and make a hole over here. Then I'm going to put a few pieces of dry ice in there and put the ceramic wrap and put a rubber band on top of it. Then we're gonna grab water and put it in a glass. As you can see a lot of smokes comes out. And then I'm gonna heat it with my finger right here. And guess what? We're gonna see rings flying. The best way to do it is put warm water in there. So you have more smoke and check it out. And actually, stay for a while. Smoking is pretty awesome, huh?